This is FC-150V that I showed y'all the other day. And you can see uh, the rings are gone because they're still leaking oil past them. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pull this engine off and uh, I'm going to leave the flywheel on it for now even though I've got the nut off of it. We're going to go ahead and pull this engine off and take it apart, <clears throat> take the cover off the bottom and see if we can get away with just putting rings in it, maybe a ring and a piston. Don't know till we get it apart. I want to see how bad these rings that are in here are out take a better look at the cylinder but this is going to be part two and it's uh, part three will be actually getting into the engine but I wanted to show you what I had to do to get the blade adapter off of this machine so if you're interested stay tuned we'll get right into it so most of these uh, recyclers they have this kind of setup here where the uh, you got this cover plate that sits on here Got, then the blade adapter goes on. Of course, this one's broken. Fits in here like this. And then you got your stiffener and your nut. So the first thing to do is get the blade off, which is no problem. Impact or however you take your blades off, get the bolt off. Then the stiffener should come off. And then the blade should come off. But uh, this piece right here should still be attached to this. And if the blade adapter is stuck on there, you can't get this cover off. Fortunately, somebody has been working on this before, and this blade adapter has been broken off. I've had to cut these off, or I've, I've put pullers on them, mangled them up. I, they're really hard to get off if they've been rusted, if nobody put antecedents on them, or they've sat up a long time. It's almost impossible to get them off without destroying them. But this one was already broken, so I was able to get the cover off. But we would still have the dilemma of getting this piece off. So normally this would attach to here. So what I had to do is um, get the old propane out. First thing I did was you know, you take the old trick, run your nut back in here a little bit. And what I did is I took me some 50-50 uh, mix uh, uh, acetone and transmission fluid and uh, let it soak, shot it in here and let it soak overnight. But while it was soaking, I went ahead and had my, uh, this is just a two-claw puller. I had it set up on here just like this. And I tightened it down. Three-quarter socket will do. And I've got pressure on it. I kind of let it sit overnight with the pressure on it while that was stuff was soaking. And I came out here this, today, and I heated it up with my propane torch. got it real hot. It's not going to get cherry hot. But you know, you heat it up, heat this piece up really good. And uh, then I quenched it with some water, the old quench trick. And uh, fortunately, this one didn't give me a lot of trouble. After I had that, you know, I just cranked on my socket and uh, it came, came on loose. Boom, and that's off. So that's the hard part, because without getting this off, you can't get the belt pulley off can't get the belt pulley off there's no sense in uh, taking the engine off because you're not going to get the crankcase apart. So now as you can tell we've got it where we want it and we're going to take, uh, I think this one's only got three bolts that hold it in, yeah one, two, and three. So we're going to take this off, uh, the part three video which I may put out tomorrow, we'll be getting this engine off and we're going to pop the cover off and take a look inside the engine. So but just, you know, just a trick on how to get these uh, pulleys off. We got lucky on this one. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to show you. Don't 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 go away yet. I'm going to show you what one looks like that's uh, messed up and, and hard to get off. This is the same kind of setup, uh, but you can't get this cover off until you get this blade adapter off. And you see how I showed you? It's all one piece. This one uh, isn't broken. So the only way to get this off is. Uh, Try that heating it up and pulling it, but you can't get a, uh, you don't be able to get a puller on here anywhere good to get that off. So, uh, you know, you can try to cut, cut the corners off here, so then you can get the cover off. What I usually do is take a, I've already started on this one, but uh, I'm not sure I'm going to mess with it because the customer hadn't called me back on it. But I'd cut these corners off right here all the way around and that way I can go ahead and get the cover off and then I can access that and do the same trick we did on the one I just showed you. 
anyway, just wanted to show you that was part two. We'll get to part three next. Uh, Y'all have a great weekend, and Jungle Bob is out.